How's it? It's ISO Casual Gamer at its finest. So PlayStation VR 2 has officially been announced for the PS5. And as someone who's already a big fan of VR gaming as is, this is great news. I mean, this is showing that VR gaming as a whole is definitely getting a lot better. It's improving. It's a lot more in demand. A lot more people are getting into it. Of course, it's still like a kind of like a niche thing that people are trying to, you know, try out for as far as gaming, but it's definitely getting there. Obviously, if PlayStation 4 had VR, if they didn't see any value in it, if it wasn't making Sony money, they wouldn't make a PSVR 2. Simple as that. But the fact that they're doing it shows that, hey, there's a lot of console players that love VR. And of course, you have those on PC that still VR game. And I mean, it's just good news overall. The future of VR gaming is definitely bright, which is why I'm excited for it, right? Now, from the showcase itself with the PSVR 2, there's two things that stuck out to me. One, they mentioned Field of View, which is going to be pretty dope overall. And then the second one, which I'm even more interested in, is a 4K HDR. Now, the reason why I find that very interesting is because currently the best headset for VR on PC is the Valve Index. And that resolution is 1440 by 1600. So kind of just comparing what's out there as of right now, the Valve Index is about $1,000 just for the headset itself. Now... The fact that PlayStation mentioned 4K, I, I'm curious with what price point they're going to go at for this headset. And of course, I want it to be a good headset, right? I want people on console to be able to experience the VR gaming like the way I experience on the Quest 2, right? But just that 4K alone makes me very, very worried about what the price point might be. I mean, the consoles for the PS5s are already as... It's already hard to get as is. It's as simple as that. So... I really hope these headsets don't sell out like hotcakes just like the PS5. Hopefully they're easy to get, you know, to an extent. But just the fact that, hey, they're making a VR headset for the PS5 is dope. I'm really excited and it's great to hear. I am curious to see how the games are going to be. The game they showed off was uh, Horizon Forbidden West, basically uh, just another version of it, just VR specific. And I can't tell if it's like basically you're stuck on rails and you're just kind of moving with it or if it's an actually like full on game that you can actually interact with and play yourself. So I'm curious how the game's gonna go, but overall, really excited for the future of VR. Curious to see how PlayStation's gonna implement their system, and you know what, we'll just have to see. But yeah, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Shoots.